What's up, Divine Feminine? Welcome to the Karmic Circus where we expose all of these karmic key ass clowns. Divine Feminine. It ain't got cold out here now. And I don't want to go on the other side. Of that. This park that I'm sitting at is not a good park. Okay. I don't advise no one to come here at nighttime. Right. I grew up here. This is the spot that I would come and walk my little dog and we would, we would play ball right back there. She passed away a few months ago. So now I'm just sitting here doing some readings. Now, Divine Feminine, before I get off into this reading, I'm asking everyone to... Um, energetically donate to my channel by hitting the thumbs up button um, hitting the subscribe button and hitting that notification bell so you will be notified when the karmic circus is in your town right because we about to be talking about these clowns what are these clowns doing what's the energy surrounding the clowns okay if you're dealing with a clown that could be a karmic ex-husband who you've broken up from he done um he manipulated you, he cheated on you. Just we're just gonna find out what the karmic energies are going for. What are the karmic energies going for? What is the energy surrounding the karmic? So all of these cards that I pull out, they're gonna be telling me. And these are everyone have their own karma. Okay. So you just pick the part where, oh yeah, that's that's that motherfucker right there doing that shit. And when you when you recognize your karmic. You just imagine your ass throwing them in that tent, all right? And on the sub, while I'm on that subject, I do have throw their ass in the tent t-shirts and hoodies. If you want to purchase one from me, all you have to do is inbox me and tell me what color you want. Okay. So these these karmic energies, whoever your karmic is, that's a whole bunch of cards that came out. They're stressing, okay, because they was they was being reckless, mm -hmm. trying to throw spell work at you, and you became enlightened about it. Some of these people was playing with with Ouija boards and shit, and not telling the the spirits goodbye. Yeah, karmics do that. You just don't know. These are things that could be going on around you, and you're unaware of it, okay. These are karmic energies. They're they're doing candle matching. They're trying to cause chaos and fights and shit in other people's lives, but it ain't working. Okay. It ain't working. Some of them, um, they stuck right now. Some of them cars has been uh, breaking down. Why? Because they did something to your car energetically or physically. To make your car break down. These key, these karmics are throwing candle magic. They're trying to do spells with candle magic. Or some of these candles could be lit for them from, from the karmics passing away. Some of them got into all sorts of chaos and conflicts and they lost. And now they're having vigils for them. Okay. Some of these karmic energies has gotten their uh, transportation taken away from them. Some of them have even gotten their limbs removed from them because they wanted you to be stuck. See how she ain't got no legs? This person was praying for you to be stuck, but now they're praying that they become unstuck. Some of them, they, they can't become unstuck, okay? They done lost their limbs. So that, to me, this tells me some, some of your karmic energies, not all of them, but either they're getting broken bones I say something is happening to their legs or their feet because if they still have their arms, they can still walk around and cause chaos. So spirit is energetically breaking them down. Rather, they're, he's putting their cars on flat because they tried to put ours on flat. Rather, he's uh, breaking their legs, their foot, their toe, swelling up, giving them blood clots. All of that because they try to get you stuck. 
So spirit is 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 um slowing them down, stopping them. But see, it's like the more they come for you, spirit trying to slow them down. They ain't paying attention. They ain't paying attention. Why they sleeping? Why they not getting no sleep? They ain't paying attention that all the spell work that they done threw towards you is coming back to bite them in the ass. Now they having anxiety attacks. Playing with Ouija boards and shit. And when 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 you play with Ouija boards, you're summoning summoning spirits. So when you summon these spirits, you're supposed to tell they ass goodbye. Look at that bye still there. This person didn't say bye. They didn't tell that spirit bye. So we're gonna find out what is what is they getting for playing with the Ouija boards. Okay, well we'll just go down the line and find out why are they why are they losing sleep? Why are these karmic energies losing sleep, Holy Spirit? Show me why the karmic energies losing sleep. Why are the karmic energies stressed? Just with us. Because they've been throwing spell work over our houses. Virgo energy, the hermit. See, they're 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 now either they're ghosting or they're being ghosted. I have to put certain things on my cars to keep them from flying away. Yeah, so um, they're being ghosted now. And they're stressed and they're worried. They're in in um, reckless having you know doing reckless behavior, reckless anxiety attacks. And see, some of them they were for for the feminines. It's a a fiery masculine that was trying to get you sexually. He wanted to like. Uh, He wanted to bring you in some sort of way. He promised you long-term shit. He made you believe he was a leader. This is a karmic that's doing that was doing candle magic on you. This person could have lost a limb, or they could be on crutches or something. Mm -hmm. If you know this energy and if you know this is your karmics and if this is your karmics energy, put it in a comment. Okay? Whichever comic, whatever energies you hear me talking about what these karmics going through, put it in the comments. All right? I appreciate it. It lets me know how my, my readings are resonating with somebody. And it's also showing the karmics that what they come in the, in the comments saying negative, that I'm really seeing some shit. Okay? See, this, 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 these karmics, they're, they're feeling stuck. They feeling fenced in. They isolated. People are ghosting them. They unstable, unable to see through things. They in jail, okay? And this is how they wanted you to be, okay? This is what they going through. It's the energy of a, a, a feminine throwing spell work, wishing that, and she had she has some friends. She gets with her friends and talk about this feminine. Now this same feminine could be that was throwing the magic is in jail, and if she's not in in physical jail, she's in some sort of men mental jail. She could be an air sign. And divine collective, divine feminine, masculine, you too, you in here. Um, you know. You know this person played with a Ouija board. These people, they, they, they can't focus. 
This this feminine energy was trying to throw energetic energetic energy towards your passion. She could be a fire sign. Or she could be a water sign. She could also be an air sign. Okay. She could be any sign. This is the energies I see. What did these what did these karmics conjure up? What did these karmics conjure up? Air sign. Um, playing with this Ouija board. What did these karmic energies conjure up? What kind of spirit did they conjure up? What spirit did these karmics conjure up? These could be somebody's kids. Or they could have they could have conjured up two spirits with this Ouija board and didn't know what the fuck they was doing. They could have conjured up two children's evil spirits. You know they the the, the black eyed kids. They could have conjured up some shit like that. A lot of people, you know, you better start watching these videos and learning, babies. Cause there's some shit out there and they opening portals up all over the world. And I was at the beach the other day and, and I didn't I didn't have my my phone, my battery was dying. And I didn't think, but I seen a portal right in the water. And it was close to the shore. And I didn't I really didn't understand what it meant. You know, but it was something there. The waves kept going over and then that, that hole in the wall in the water stayed there. Okay. So tell me more about what these karmics and these karmics they run in groups too. Okay. They're they're secret cults. They don't know. Um, when I say it's a secret cult, these could be a bunch of your coworkers together talking about you. Like when you go to work and you go, they all in the lunch break room. And when you walk in, everything get quiet, or you know, um, they'll try to invite you to come sit with them, and you don't. Or like the people in school when you in the cafeteria or at your job or wherever. You walk in and, and the atmosphere, the, the energy just changes. That's a cult. Okay? And that's the enemy. They were talking about you before you came in. They don't have to be sitting around with no hoods on their heads, all the same color, masks on and shit. No, these are people that's in your family. Your, it could be your family could be a cult mad talking about you because you got a good job and they don't okay mad because your husband or your wife love you and theirs is cheating on them so they get with the rest of the family or your cult can be your family where like in in the soul food how uh i forget her name how she basically her family wanted her to take care of the mother and everything but nobody else was doing that but they'll sit around and talk about her. That's cult shit. That's energetic cult shit. They ain't gotta go and be sitting up in no sanctuary or up in no mausoleum or none of that shit. No, these motherfuckers can be sitting at the park just like me talking about you. That's cult shit, okay? That's witchcraft, that's evil eye, okay? Somebody has two twins out here. These comics, karmics are being reckless right now, playing with Ouija boards and shit, candle magic, doing cult shit, wishing ill on people. And they're getting trapped because some people are being alerted, awakened to the shit that they're doing. And their spell work is not working. It's backfiring and all. And they're praying and their prayers ain't getting heard because they sent out some demonic energy. So they praying back to the devil because God ain't listening to them. They want to become unstuck. Or they wanted you to be stuck. See, they suffering because all of this shit they sent to you is what they going through. Some of them is flipping out. A queen of wands is flipping out somewhere. This is the energy I call her a bar demon or a bar fly. She hangs at the bar. She breaks up relationships. She gives bad advice. And she only wants married men or men who's in a um, 
committed relationship. Okay. She only wants someone's baby daddy. She don't want a man that's single because then she 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 feels like she ain't got nothing. She gotta have conflict going on in her life. Just makes her feel good. Okay. And I see some of these karmics out here, they trying, they're trying to uh they're trying to learn how to protect themselves because now since they've been throwing this magic and shit and 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 how it's affecting them, they're seeing it and they're feeling it and they're witnessing it. And they're trying to learn about crystals, but guess what? They're trying to learn about healing and all of that. I see the birds coming to them, but it's like when, when the spirit comes to them, they like, whoa, wait a minute. Whoa, my battery is low. So. Okay, so, yeah, my battery is low, Divine Feminist. So I'm going to have to pack up and take my stuff back to my place. You know, my dad's house and do some more readings in my old backyard. So I'll see you at the next reading. And if this reading resonated with you and you know your karmic is going through this shit, put a thumbs up for me. All right.